Hi, my name is Silvia dos Santos, and I told you today I would do a Christmas special. We tend to think of winter as a time of rest, hibernation and quiet. But a look at the calendar reveals many holidays around the world that prove this impression entirely wrong. The cold months are clearly a popular time for parties and celebrations all around the world, while some are filled with solemn tradition, such as Christmas. Others focus on fun and frolic all pose opportunities for interesting and real-life lessons geography, culture, history and religion. Let's take um, a walk, shall we, around the classics. I won't put the, the modern songs, you know, since like 90s or 80s, no. I prepared uh, a list of music, uh, great classics, you know, great classics from Christmas time. All the great voices, the oldies, but goodies. And I'm going to talk a bit of, of a list of several popular traditions celebrated during winter holidays around the world and share them with you. I hope they inspire further discussion here on a live chat and we will we'll learn some related activities. Enjoy the tour. This is a show with Christmas classics, all the classics all the good ones. My name is Silvia dos Santos. I'll keep you company. I hope you keep me company. And let's do this. Okay? Let's enjoy Christmas or your own traditions. It was very bright over there. Uh, here's one that most kids like. This kid does too. Stand by. You better watch out. You better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out You better not cry you better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town He sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good, be good for goodness sake. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, he's on his way, he's got toys all over the sleigh. Santa! Coming to town. Where'd you go? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look in the five and ten This 
whistling once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be on your own A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. Get your holly jolly, ho, ho, ho. Christmas is here, everybody. And the classics, oh my God, the classics. I put together a list while we talk about the movies around this time that we watch and re-watch again. We'll talk about Christmas or your own traditions of your own culture around the world. Get your holly jolly on with this lovely ultimate holiday playlist that I put together for you. This is one of my favorite voices of all times, Bing Crosby. Come on. <laughs> on your own front door. Sure, it's Christmas. There are two types of people in the world. Those who listen to Christmas music before Thanksgiving, like a tradition in the United States of America, a group of listeners that I have, the biggest one, the biggest group of listeners come from the United States and 200 countries more, of course, but in the first place of the, the top five, it is United States of America. So I'm talking about Thanksgiving. It's a tradition from um, United States of America, of course. And, you know, those who listen to Christmas music before Thanksgiving, um, I like starting listening to, uh, to Christmas songs in November, but I don't... Um, do a lot of that. I just listen once in a while because I really love this spirit of Christmas. The the romance, the love surrounding, the warmth, you know, of the songs. These songs are so special. Don't you agree? Uh, even if it is not Christmas. But as I was saying, fine. It's not exactly true that everybody listens to Christmas songs before Christmas but there's just something magical about Christmas songs don't you agree the nostalgia the traditions the feeling that can only be described as jolly jolly <laughs> that just set the mood you know I'm always in the mood for love for Christmas love. So even if you're the type to wait until after the turkey day, the Thanksgiving day, if you're decorating the house, trimming the tree, wrapping the gifts, just by the way, I love doing the wrapping myself. And or just in the mood to relax and want to listen to some of your holiday favorites. You create it, I create it a playlist of the best Christmas songs of all times. <laughs> and the list ranges from 1942 to, I don't know, <laughs> as a little bit of everything. There are the old classics. Next Christmas, we'll talk about the other songs. You know, the modern ones. But this Christmas, we're talking about only the classics. 
With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the half happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the half happiest season of all. For hosting marshmallows, for toasting and caroling out in the And I was, I was saying before, Bing Crosby's uh, classics uh, about picturesque Christmas scenes, he is one of the most popular co writers or writers of the, the songs that makes us fall in love with Christmas every single year. Enjoy a little bit more of Andy Williams right now. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time. Yes, the most wonderful time. Oh, the most wonderful time. So what do you remember? I want you, you that enter the, the live chat, and I see you subscribe to my show. That's why you get a notification before the rest of, of the followers. So we wish you a, a very Merry Christmas, wherever you are. What are your favorite memories? We will talk about that. I, I was just remembering something. When I was a kid, um, my grandmother was not uh, alive anymore, sadly, but my grandmother had some of the best traditions I could ever ask for. And my mom, um, she just continues to do the, those, those traditions, of course. And one of them is to do um, the sweets, you know, the Christmas sweets. And I want to know what are your traditions with your mother or in your family? Do you cook, do you bake uh, the sweets, the Christmas sweets? What are they? <laughs> and I'll talk about, um, about mine and uh, my favorite memories with my family. And I want to talk about your own culture, your own traditions. And I want to, because not everyone uh, celebrates Christmas, but everyone celebrates something somewhere in the world. And this is a podcast for the world, for the whole wide world to listen. I have more than 2,200 countries listening. So I want to know your stories. <laughs> well, we'll listen to the best classics of Christmas time. All around, it's good music.
right, you chipmunks. Ready to, ready to sing your song? Yeah, yeah. Let's sing it now. Okay, Simon. Okay. Okay, Theodore. Okay. Okay, Alvin. 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 Alvin show. Who doesn't know this? The Shipmunk song Christmas, Don't Be Late. Let's listen to these cute guys. Very good, Simon. Very good, Theodore. Uh, Alvin, you were a little flat. Watch it, uh, Alvin. Alvin. I just know somebody that will love this song by the Chipmunk song, you know? My nephew. Joãozinho, <laughs> he has, uh, he is only six year old, he's a six year old, almost seven year old. His birthday will be in January 3rd, and he's quite cute and smart boy. So I know he loves this. <laughs> the Alvin Show. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Christmas You can plan on me Please have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree Christmas Eve people that enter the show um, for eight days each November or December Jews light a special candle holder called a menorah they do it to remember an ancient miracle in which one day's worth of oil burned for eight days in the temple during Hanukkah Many Jews also eat special potato pancakes called 
Latkes. Latkes? I think I'm doing a good job saying this. Sing songs and spin a top called a tridle to win chocolate coins, nuts or raisins. How cute is that? I love knowing your traditions. And I see you guys talking to me in the chat, and I love that. Um, I'm talking to you on the written chat, but today is to listen to the songs while I chat with you on the chat room via written messages. But if you want to call, I accept the calls between the songs. That I accept. I know most of you are a little bit shy, but between today, tomorrow and after tomorrow, I hope you call. But nevertheless, I love talking to you on the written chat. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the songs and we'll get to the to all the traditions around this time of the year, December, November, you know.
listening to Darlene Love, um, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home. <laughs> now we'll listen to Chuck Berry, Run, Rudolph, Run, from 1958. Well, we talk about the Three Kings Day at the end of the 12, third, 12 days of Christmas comes a day called the Epiphany or Three Kings Day. This holiday is celebrated as the day the three wise men first saw baby Jesus and brought him gifts. On this day in Spain, many children get their Christmas presents. In Puerto Rico, before children go to sleep on January 5th, they leave a box with hay under their beds so the kings will leave good presents in france a delicious king cake is baked mm, sounds delicious bakers will hide a coin jewel or little toy inside we're talking about many traditions around this time november december january <laughs> well I'll listen to chuck berry the one and only Feeling like a merry-go-round While we listen to the kids singing <laughs> Deck the Halls, one of the most uh, known songs uh, of all time, Deck the Halls is a song from Christmas time. And now one of my favorites, of course, Dean Martin, Winter La Wonderland. Let's talk about some more uh, traditions around the world. Winter solstice. The winter solstice occurs around December 21st. It is the shortest day of the year. People all over the world participate in festivals 
and celebrations. Long ago, people celebrated by lighting bonfires and candles to coax back the sun. And we'll talk about some more, but I can't talk while Dean Martin is singing for us. Can I? In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is awesome brown And he'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man Oh, but you can do the job when you're in town And later on, we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in the winter when the land In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is twice and brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no, man But you can do the job when you're in town Or later on, we will conspire As we dream by the fire Face unafraid, the plan that we made, walking in the window on the land. So now, now that we listened uh, a little bit more of Dean Martin, Winter Wonderland, one of the classics, St. Lucia Day, to honor this third century saint on December 13th, many girls in Sweden dress up as Lucia brides in long white gowns with red sashes and a wreath of burning candles on their heads. It's a tradition. They wake up their families by singing songs and bringing them coffee and twisted saf saffron buns called Lucia Cats. And now to present the next song after Dean Martin, We'll talk about St. Nicholas Day, and for that, we will have a special band, a special band that mm, got used to make us sing uh, those summer songs, nothing about Christmas or December or winter time. Um, they sing a lot about summertime, but they have a special song called Little Saint Nicholas. But let's have Dean Martin finish his lovely song because it is a classic. We should respect the classics. He'll say, Are you married? We'll say, No. But you can do the job when you're in town Or later on, we will conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plan that we made Walking in the window on the land Oh, walking in the window on the land You hear me talking, walking in the window this type of singing Beach Boys ladies and gentlemen one of my favorite bands to make your mood get jolly <laughs> this song as I said before the Beach Boys I wrote this Little Saint Nicholas and I have something about that Uh, St. Nicholas Day, a popular December holiday in many European countries. St. Nicholas Day, St. Nick Day, as the Beach Boys are singing right now, um, celebrates St. Nicholas of Myra, the man whose life inspired the tradition of Santa Claus, Christmas Santa Claus. 
and Father Christmas. He gave all of his money to the needy and was known for his compassion for children and all those who are in need. The holiday honors the man on the anniversary of his death, December 6th. Many celebrate with parades, feasts, gift giving, and festivals. So, this it is a, a quite an honor and a tribute from the Beach Boys to Saint Nicholas Day. Let's listen to the song. <laughs> the Beach Boys, they all um, have such a characteristic uh, way of singing that makes us feel jolly, Holly. <laughs> really happy, and even if they sang just now um, Christmas or Saint Nicholas, it's more like uh, Saint Nicholas, Saint Nick. The song is called Little Saint Nick uh, to Saint Nicholas that I already spoke about, spoken about uh, earlier. But they sound like summer every time, right? So, we are listening now to one of the classics, and I promised you the classics, The Temptations. You know that song, Night and Day? You know, they are singing Silent Night. Um, some kind of a, a different cover of Silent Night, you know, the, one of the most famous songs of Christmas. It's a Temptations uh, take on the silent night that we are used to listen on the standards on the radio Merry Christmas
probably one of the songs that I most sang at school, you know. Um, Dashing Through the Snow, Silent Night. Uh, they are just a few of the songs that we used to sing at school. Quite a moving song, right? Um, for those who like to remember the good old days. <laughs> But I really love, you know, the movies that we watch on TV and rewatch and rewatch all over again. Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin. Who doesn't know this movie? We will talk about the movies. Let's listen now to one of the songs on the soundtrack of Home Alone. Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree. The best classic Christmas movies of all time. If you go through the holidays without watching at least one of these films, you might just be the Grinch. You know who the Grinch is? One of the best parts of the holiday is curling up on the couch with summer hot cocoa or a wintry cocktail, whatever you wish, and settling in for a true Christmas movie marathon. Yeah, I told you, marathon. Yeah, some of us do that. But alas, the season is fleeting, so don't waste your precious festive time channel surfing or digging through streaming sites just bookmark these seasonal films i got for you instead from the heartwarming classics like it's a wonderful life to christmas movie legend that i've spoken earlier home alone with macaulay culkin that sweet cute boy he's a man now <laughs> grown man, but he was so cute when a child, when he was a child. Here are the Christmas movies that the whole family will love. Are you ready for the list?
So Santa Claus, first in our list, doesn't mean is the best. It's just first in our list. So a memorable quote from this movie is, in quote, I think that if we're going to destroy our son's illusions, I should be a part of it. Scott, the character Scott says. <laughs> The other movie in second place on our list is A Christmas Story from 1983. Before you asked me, Santa Claus is from 1994. So let's talk about Christmas Story. A memorable quote, quote I can't put my arms down, Randy said. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 1964 a memorable quote santa claus said from what i see now that will cut through the murkiest storm they can dish up what am what i'm trying to say is rudolph with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight and rudolph said it would be an honor sir so you're listening to Brenda Lee again because it is one of my favorite classics of all times and I love I love singing and dancing to the sound of this song but let's talk about Home Alone which this song got really known from this movie soundtrack Home Alone 1990 with Macaulay Culkin Oh, that cute face. When you knew he was alone in his home and he started putting, you know, the dolls in <laughs> mannequins, mannequins, however you say it, dancing with each other. Uh, and the thieves, the, the burglars, thought he was with people, you know, <laughs> in, the, in his home. But he was not. He was home alone. So this is the quote of the movie. This is extremely important. Will you please tell Santa that instead of presents this year, I just want my family back, said the character of Macaulay Culkin. No toys, nothing but Peter, Kate, Buzz. Buzz. I remember that character, Buzz. Why the bully? Um, Megan, Linny, and Jeff, and my aunt and my cousins, and if he has time, my Uncle Frank, okay? Kevin McAllister, character uh, of one of the most famous movies ever. And do you like Charlie Brown Christmas? Are you nostalgic like that? I am. Charlie Brown, Christmas time.
1965, Charlie Brown Christmas 1965. Well, where the time has passed. So a memorable quote from that Charlie Brown Christmas. I never thought it was such a bad little tree. It is not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love," said the character Linus Van Pelt. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight! Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Now the ground is white. Go it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing this sleighing song. Just get a bobtail nag to forty for his speed. Then hitch him to an open sleigh and crack you take the lead. Oh, the fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Love that vibration, syncopation of a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> For snow, <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald, Jingle Bells, original stereo sound. <laughs> We are listening to First Noel, like a Christmas Christmas carol. Well, we talk about about Dr. Seuss, uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas. I talked about the Grinch earlier. Uh, from 1966 and the other version in 2000, everyone knows Grinch. It came without ribbons, it came without bows, it came without packages, boxes or bags. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. The Grinch said it. So the other movie is Elf from 2003. It's a Christmas movie. I pass through the seven levels of the candy cane forest with Will Ferrell, you know, through the sea of swirly twirly gum drops. And then I walk through the Lincoln Tunnel, sat bunny. <laughs> so I'm watching you guys get into the chat, but I know you'll understand that I, I will only interrupt the song or put you speaking in a phone call that is free, but I know most of you, uh, some of you that follow the, um, my, my podcast um, and most of you that really talk to me on the phone, that call, um, and I had calls from so many places already in the whole wide world. I know some of you don't celebrate Christmas. That's why I read some of the celebrations around the world that don't include Christmas, but you know, it's a celebration of love. Wherever you are in the world, uh, if you are celebrating something, you can call on the show and talk about your celebrations, your own culture's celebrations, and your memories, your traditions, wherever you are in the world. You can call, it's for free. But I understand most of you are shy and you think this is a show only for Christmas. Yeah, mainly it is, but I'm reading some of the um, celebrations around the world. So 
everyone is welcomed here every time, every single time. I welcome all of you in my show. No one is treated differently. And I will keep reading the quotes the the most famous movies, most watched movies in the Christmas time. So the holiday, uh, it's a cute movie, 2006, with Jude Law, Cameron Diaz. While we listen to Holly Jolly Christmas, Burl Hives. Let's keep reading the quotes. It's Christmas Eve and we are going to go celebrate being young and being alive, said Miles. I think is Jack Black, the actor who plays Miles on the movie Holiday. And it's a wonderful life from 1946. And you can chat on the chat room. I I'm reading what you're saying to me, but I won't interrupt the show to read every little thing. Um, I will only interrupt the, the show if you call in on the show. If you don't, I'll keep talking to you on the chat room, you know. So we're talking about It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. The quote from this movie. Remember, George, no man is a failure who has friends. Clarence, the character, said it. And Scrooge from 1988. Who remembers that? I was a captain of industry, feared by men, adored by women, said the character Lou Hayward. Adored? Come on, let's be honest, Lou. You paid for the women. Frank Cross. The character said on the Scrooge, the movie, a Christmas movie, another classic, Miracle on 34th Street, 1947 version, 1994 version. <laughs> but we will speak about that movie just in a while. Let's keep listening to the song. So cute. Jolly Jolly Christmas. But it's ending, you know. But I'll put it again. Don't mind if I do. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. But have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet Ho, ho, the mistletoe Hung where you can see Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me having a holly jolly Christmas yet <laughs> I hope I'll I'll make you holly jolly with this show not sure so we were talking about Miracle on 34th Street the the version of 1947 in 1994 one of the classics of the cinema in Christmas time so the quote it is if this court finds that Mr. Kringle is not who he says he is, that there is no Santa, I ask the court, the court to judge which is worse, a lie that draws a smile or a truth that draws a tear. The character Brian Bradford. Next year, I'll put the modern songs, but this year I'll dedicate to the, you know, the classics, just like this one. One of my favorites, Bing Crosby. I told you yesterday, he is one of my favorite voices that is like a warm voice, you know? It keeps you warm in the cold Christmas night. 
White Christmas, 1942. I'll keep reading what you are writing and let's listen. And children listen to hear the bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every. Quite the classic, right? Quite the classic. And let's keep doing this, okay? So you came here to listen to good old classics, to know about the memorable movies that we watch and rewatch every night on Christmas night. So love actually. Uh, it, it had a great cast, if you remember. It's a Christmas uh, movie. And you are listening to Dashing Through the Snow. All the children know how to sing that song by now. So one of the quotes of uh, this one, The Muppet Christmas Carol, 1992. The quote is, It was the afternoon of Christmas Eve and Scrooge was conscious of a thousand odors, each one connected with a thousand thoughts and hopes and joys and cares long, long forgotten, said Gonzo. Oh, the next one is one of my favorites, my personal favorites, Die Hard with Bruce Willis, the sexy Bruce Willis. Well, he was in 1988. <laughs> And, uh, okay, in one of the quotes, and I'll try not to read everything because I don't want to go to the explicit episodes on Apple iTunes. yippee yay yay mother -upper. John McClane, the character, the most famous character of Bruce Willis is John McClane on the movies Die Hard. And The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. Mm, the quote is, Just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it, said Jack Skellington. <laughs> Dashing through the snow. Who doesn't know how to sing Dashing Through the Snow? Everyone knows how to sing. So let's carry on. <laughs> The Family Stone 2005 with the Sex and City, Carrie Bradshaw, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Christmas is not clothing optional. This year we have a guest, Sybil Stone, from the movie The Family Stone. <laughs> Let's listen to Solomon Burke. And I love this voice. I really do. Anyway, are you ready? Come on. Up. We want to give out a present to everybody this Christmas. All around the world for everybody. 
every man, woman, boy, and girl. Are you ready right now? Come on. Here we go. Oh, I like it like that. Come on. That's it. All right. Come on. Oh, Christmas presents around the world. Something mighty sweet to see. If only if I just had a present for everyone under one great big Christmas tree. For every boy that wants a brand new toy, for every Johnny that wants a car, for every Junior that wants a automobile bike, ride and ride and ride. Now my little daughter, she wants a dog that rides, one that walks and wipes its eyes. And I see there's someone that wants somebody home just to me. What a Christmas present! Mmm, this Christmas, oh, what a gift you could be! You know if I could just give out Christmas presents to everyone on the one great big Christmas tree, you know I'm even fat enough to be the world's biggest Santa Claus, and everybody could just just stand around and just say, "Ooh, is that for me?" Come on, a Christmas present for everybody this year. We want to give it to him. Are you ready? Come on, everybody. Come on, one more time together. Merry Christmas, baby. Present for you, Christmas, directly from me. For all the disc jockeys around the world, Merry Christmas. All the policemen and all, and all the pretty girls. Do you believe this song is from 1967? Where were you? Where was I? I wasn't even born. So, Meet Me in St. Louis, 1944. And I have that song here to play, but it won't play just yet. But let's talk about the movie, shall we? With Judy Garland, I guess. Rose Smith, we can't go on like this any longer. I've positively decided we're going to get married at the earliest opportunity. And I don't want to hear any arguments. <laughs> That's final. I love you. Merry Christmas. And you're listening now to probably one of my ultimate favorites. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack, Jack Frost, Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows A turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep Tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see a reindeer really know how to fly and so I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from one to ninety two Although it's been said 
Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. the chat room I see you guys entering and but I'm doing a live radio show and I cannot um, write at the same time that I'm gathering the information to tell you about the movies the songs but if you write on the chat no one that is listening is seeing what you are writing so it will cut you know a bit of the mood of the show if i interrupt each second to say uh, mr a mr b mr c enter the show i cannot say you understand i love you for understanding <laughs> donny hathaway one of the best voices out there and an inspiration for anyone else did you know that Christmas fireside blazing bright We're caroling through the night And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me Presents and cards are here My world is filled with cheer and you This Christmas And as I look around Your eyes outshine Johnny Hathaway, ladies and gentlemen uh, Let's keep listening to his voice While we talk about the rest of the movies, shall we? The Polar Express 2004 Who have seen it? Um, seeing is believing, but sometimes the most real things in the world are the things we can't see, said the conductor in this movie. Fred Claus, 2007. Nick, there's been one thing that's been eating me since I've been here. That naughty nice list that you got. There's no naughty kids, Nick. They're all good kids, but some of them are scared and some of them don't feel listened to. Some of them had some pretty tough breaks too. But every kid deserves a present on Christmas time. And I agree. And I agree because it is Christmas time. Merry Christmas from me to you, wherever you are. Hang all the mistletoe, I'm gonna get to know you better. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. Christmas, the fire size blazing bright. We're caroling through the night, and this Christmas will be show, show Christmas for me. So, Christmas with the Cranks 2004, another movie to know of. You're skipping Christmas, isn't that against the law? Said the character Spike Frommeyer. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 2001. Let's listen to Johnny Mathis. 
Sleigh Ride, 1958. Well, if this isn't a classic, I don't know what it is. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's look at the show. We're riding in a wonderland of snow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand, just holding your hand. We're riding along with a song of a wintry fairyland. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy, cozy. And while we're listening to the sleigh ride by Johnny Mathis, Jingle All the Way, it's the next movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. By the way, I have an episode that you can find on my channel, my podcast. It has an episode about Arnold Schwarzenegger, so dig it out and check it out, please. 1996 is the, the year of the movie Jingle All the Way. And one of the quotes is, you guys are nothing but a bunch of sleazy carmen in red suits. The character Howard Langston said. Eloise at Christmas time, 2003. It's one of the movies that you and I, we all watch and rewatch on Christmas night. I don't think I could eat at a time like this, unless, of course, it's chocolate chip ice cream, of course, and I agree with Eloise. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 it's grand, just holding your hand. We're gliding along with a song of a wintry fairyland. Nice and rosy and comfy, cozy are we. We snuggle close together like two birds of a feather would be. Let's take that boat before us and sing a chorus of two. And the list goes on of the movies, the classics of the movies we watch on Christmas time. Ranker, 1989. I was only eight years. <laughs> you tear apart the baby's rattle. I'm quoting, of course, I'm quoting the, the movie quote. And you see what makes the noise inside? But there is a veil covering the unseen world, which not the strongest man could tear apart. Only faith. Poetry, love and romance can push aside the curtain and view the beauty and the glory beyond. It is, is it all real? Virginia, in all this world there is nothing else real in the body. Santa Claus, thank God he lives and lives forever. A thousand years from now, ten times ten thousand years from now, and he will continue. Santa Claus, of course continue to make glad the heart of a child. <laughs> Do you believe in Santa Claus still? Christmas Carol. God bless us, everyone. Tiny Tim. 
It is from the year of 2009. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas 1999. <laughs> Let me see the quote of this one. Mickey, Mickey Mouse, of course. Hey, what a great day, Louis. We should do that more often, Dewey said. Yeah, once a week should be enough. Huey, it'll be another 36 four days before we get more Christmas. Oh, he said with a sad face. Hmm, <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse for you. And this, this handsome boy who's singing is called Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. For you, just for you. Blue Christmas. He loves the color blue. Have you noticed? Blue moon, blue Christmas. Blue suede shoes. Start falling. That's when those blue memories start falling. You'll be The Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know. Can you guess the next movie I'm going to talk about now? Frosty the Snowman, 1969. A classic from 1969. And let us see what the narrator of this movie, this lovely movie, Frosty the Snowman says. In quotes, I suppose it all started with the snow. You see, it was a very special kind of snow. A snow that made the happy happier. And the giddy is giddier. A snow that make a homecoming homier. A natural enemy's friends, of course, natural. For it was the first snow of the season. And as any child can tell you, there's a certain magic that comes with the very first snow. Especially when it falls warm the day before Christmas. For when the first snow is also a Christmas snow. Well, something wonderful is bound to happen. Of course, it's Frosty Snowman. Don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Look at Frosty go. Over the hills and snow. White Christmas 1954. We've listened to the song. Let's listen to the quote, shall we? Vermont must be beautiful this time of year. All that snow. Set the character of the movie White Christmas, Judy Haynes. Jack Frost 1998. 
I just have to accept it. I accept I'm a snowman. Okay, said Jack. Santa Claus is coming to town, 1970, and the list is almost ending. Today, children everywhere are making preparations for an event of world-shaking significance, the annual visit of Santa Claus. Informed sources report that legions of junior citizens are making monumental efforts not to cry and not to pout. Meanwhile, letters by the thousands have been flooding postal facilities at the North Pole. Burgmeister Meisterberger said it. <laughs> so, Christmas in Connecticut, 1945, another classic. And we're talking about, we are paying tribute to the classics here. Good morning, Merry Christmas. I hope I'm in time to see you flip the flapjacks. Alexander Yarley, the character of Christmas in Connecticut. Oh, Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang, 2005, with Robert Downey Jr. Anyway, by now, you may wonder why or how I wound up here, or maybe not. The point is, I don't see another narrator, so pipe down, said Harry. The Bishop's Wife, 1947, is sometimes angels rush in when where fools fear to tread, Dudley. <laughs> While You Were Sleeping with Sandra Bullock, 1995. Well, I like this movie. Peter once asked me when I fell in love with Jack, and I told him it was while you were sleeping, honey. Lucy, Sandra Bullock character. <laughs> Holiday Affair, 1949. My dad... My father, Manuel, <laughs> was born in 1949. Anything can change a life that's ready to be changed. Carl Davies from the movie Holiday Affair from 1949, another classic. Class from 2019, just recent, a recent movie, haven't watched it, sadly, a true selfless Act always sparks another, said Claus. The shop around the corner, 1940. <laughs> well, after a while, we got on the subject of love, in quote. Naturally, won a very cultural level, Alfred Kralik said on the movie. Do you know the voice of Sam Cooke? Mm -hmm. Usually he has uh, some um, romantic songs. And I dug out a song by Sam Cooke. But let's keep that for later. And let's listen to a song that most of us uh, who search on YouTube think it is from Marilyn Monroe, you know, talk about a classic, a classy lady. She's a gorgeous woman. Well, she was. Unfortunately, she died several years ago. But she isn't the writer, the composer of this song you're listening, Santa Baby. It is a sexy, sexy song, but it isn't by Marilyn Monroe. If she, she sang it uh, somewhere in a movie she did, of some sort, she would sing it in a sexy way. But the voice you're listening 
is Eartha Kitt. Santa Baby is sang by Eartha Kitt because it is one of my favorites. When I come back, I'll keep telling you a few celebrations around the world. Just slip a sable under the tree for me. Make no mistake, this is no Marilyn Monroe. This is Eartha Kitt. Chimney tonight. Santa baby, a fifty four convertible to light blue. I'll wait up for you, dear Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. And next year I could be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot. Been an angel all year, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa honey, one little thing I really need the deed to a platinum mine, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa cutie and fill my So let's talk about the celebration of Christmas. I talked about uh, St. Nicholas Day, St. Lucia Day, Winter Solstice, uh, Three Kings Day, Hanukkah. So let's talk about the main subject. With all due respect for all the celebrations around the world, let's talk about Christmas in this minute. People celebrate this Christian holiday by going to the church, giving gifts, and sharing the day with their families. In some parts of Europe, star singers go caroling, singing special Christmas songs as they walk behind a huge star on a pole. The Christmas festivities in Ireland tend to be more religious in nature uh, rather than being about gifts, sorry. <laughs> Christmas celebrations last from Christmas Eve until January 6th. It's called Epiphany. On December 26th, known as St. Stephen's Day, an Irish tradition that is known as the Ren Boys procession takes place. Children go from door to door singing carols, holding a stick that is stopped by a holly bush and a wren. They ask for money for the starving wren, which goes into their pockets, of course. <laughs> In ancient times, a real wren was killed and fastened to the stick, but today fake wrens are used in the gardens of everyone's home. Not mine, because I live in an apartment, but whatever. <laughs> the Christmas Eve festivities in the Ukraine are known as Vyata Vekara, which means Holy Supper. The celebration begins when the first evening star is sighted in the night sky. In farming communities, the household had brains in a sheaf of wheat which symbolizes the wheat crops of Ukraine, the country, you know. It's called Diduka, which translates to grandfather spirit 
in homes within the city. A few stalks of wheat may be used to decorate the table. Let's talk about after listening a bit of a, a true classic by Otis Redding. Merry Christmas, baby. In 1967, we will talk after that about Kwanzaa. I told you I will talk about all the celebrations between November, December, January. See you guys, wherever you are. I'm celebrating with you. Now, it is the time for that voice I told you about earlier, Sam Cooke. And the so solstice Christmas means L O V E love. Yes. Bright of our day. And I'm so glad that he came to show us what true love is. Listen to uh, uh, Sam Cooke and the Soul Stewards. Christmas means love. We are all about celebrating love, aren't we? Yes, we are. Kwanzaa, which means first fruits, is based on ancient African harvest festivals and celebrates ideals such as family life and unity. During the spiritual holiday celebrated from December 26th to January 1st, millions of African Americans dress in special clothes, decorate their homes with fruits and vegetables, and light a candle holder called a kinara. Let's talk about New Year. New Year in Ecuador. Families dress a straw man in old clothes on December 31st. The straw man represents the old year. The family members make a will for the straw man that lists all of their faults. At midnight, they burn the straw man in hopes that their faults will disappear with him. With him, you know. In Japan, Omisoka or New Year's Eve, it means uh, the meaning of Omisoka. I think, is the second most important holiday of the year. Following New Year's Day, the start of a new beginning. Japanese families think that is quite important. Gather for a late dinner around 11 p.m. and at midnight, many make visits to a shrine or temple. In many homes, there is a cast bell that is struck 108 times, symbolizing desires believed to cause human suffering. Those in Hong Kong pray to the gods and ghosts of their ancestors, asking that they will fulfill wishes for the next year. Priests read aloud the names of every living person at the celebration, attach a list of the names. <laughs> you know, I didn't write this. So, attach a list of the names to a paper horse and set it on fire. The smoke carries the smoke carries the names up 
to the gods and the living will be remembered, of course. To celebrate the Chinese New Year, many children dress in new clothes to celebrate and people carry lanterns and join in a huge parade led by a silk dragon. You heard it, silk dragon, the Chinese symbol of strength. According to legend, the dragon hibernates most of the year, so people throw firecrackers to keep the dragon awake. We have to awake, to wake the dragon. So let's talk about now another celebration around the world, Mardi Gras. The time of Lent is a solemn one of reflection for Christians. So the Tuesday before Lent begins in is a time of merry making uh, for many people around the world. In New Orleans, people wear costumes and attend huge parades for the festival of Mardi Gras. Brazil's Carnival also features parades, costumes, and music. Alô, galera, alô, Brasil! This day is also known as Shrove Tuesday. In England, in England, some towns have pancake contests. Mmm, sounds delicious. In England, some towns make pancake contests <laughs> in which women run a race while flipping a pancake at least three times. Mardi Gras usually occurs in February or March, 47 days prior to Easter. Next, I will uh, pick up your call, your free call, to talk about uh, your memories, your own celebrations, your own culture celebrations. Not all of you celebrate Christmas. I see every each one of you entering the live chat. I'm just sad that the other people don't see it because they will listen to the songs, you know, but the chat is only available for the ones who write on the chat, who participate in the chat room. And we are listening to Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland. I think I'll put this from the beginning because let's face it, Judy Garland deserves it with a few jingles in the way. to interrupt the show to tell every single name that enters the show but I'm seeing that you are entering the show I'm watching you I love that you are listening to the show with all the classics White Christmas 1942 Bing Crosby's classic hit about a picturesque Christmas scene is one of the most popular holiday songs ever. Guinness World Records even named it the best-selling single of all time. I'll Be Home for Christmas, 1943. We couldn't stop at one Crosby tune. His heartfelt holiday song is a moving tribute to the soldiers fighting in World War II. The, list, the song you're listening now, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, 1944. Judy Garland originally recorded this soft Christmas song for the musical Meet Me in St. Louis, which is about four daughters coming of age while getting ready to move to New York. Time for a rewatch? Maybe. 
Nat King Cole, The Christmas Song, 1946. Everyone knows this holiday song, so it barely needs a name. It's the one where Nat King Cole sings, Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. You know that one. He sings a lot better than I do. Uh, it's so popular that it was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1974. Another classic. Frank Sinatra, let us know that you are listening now. Let us know, let us know. 1948. This jazzy holiday song by Frank Sinatra is about that cold winter weather we all have a love-hate relationship with. Although it wasn't on his original Christmas album, it was featured on the updated compilation album Let It Snow by Frank Sinatra. Eartha Kitt that I told you about, that it isn't a Marilyn Monroe song, it is Eartha Kitt, 1953. Santa Baby. Santa Baby. <laughs> this cheeky song by Eartha Kitt is about wanting some pretty extravagant Christmas gifts. Even though this is a holiday tune, it's one of her most well-known songs ever. Hello, Kucho. Hello, Where are you hello. from? I'm from South Africa. I'm in Joburg, so we're too. South Africa? Are you kidding me? I'm not, I'm serious. Kucho is my stage name. Oh. Kucho is my stage name. I'm a poet. They call me Kuda, so Clanza, but my real name is Lebo. You can call me Lebo. How old are you, Lebo? I'm 40 years old. But I'm not. Six You're kidding. I look 60. I'm 40 years old too. <laughs> we have the same age. Yeah, we twins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you agree with me that we are in the best age? Yes, we are. We are in the best yeah. age to be anything we want to be. We have the wisdom. We oh, have yeah. the. We, we have know the what we want. Correct, and we have we have the power <laughs> and the confidence to begin everything all over again. So, Levo, uh, I want to know your um, celebrations in South Africa. What do you celebrate we with celebrate your family? With, um, with my family, usually we just come together. Okay, back in the days when my grandmother was still alive, we would have a big feast and cook up a storm. I, would, I was the one cooking most of the time. And then I would oh, send yeah. her food. So we'd have two Christmases in one day. We'd have early lunch at home and then pack up everything, go to my grandmother's for late lunch at her house. So we would be Aww. sick with food for two houses every single Christmas. Let's talk just about celebrating love. How about that? Celebrating oh, love. Love. Ah, man. Um, where do we begin? <laughs> where yeah. do we begin? <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite food? The salty one and the sweet one. Both Give of them two. at the same time. I like sweet and salty stuff. They have, to, I need to have on my plate, I want sweet and salty at the same time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And spicy. Yeah? You like? Yes. Add, add spice, please. Three dishes that you mm -hmm. cook that mm -hmm. everyone loves. It's the dumpling. It's the dumpling. You have to explain me the dish. You have to spell oh, for me. Yeah. So dumpling is, I think you call it steamed bread. I think it's called steamed bread. So it's dough that you put in a steamed pot. And then I'll have my lamp stew with rosemary. Then we'll go outside and make a fire outside. Yeah. <laughs> I've taught my I husband. love that. He makes the fire outside and he's like, the fire is ready. If I don't feel like cooking, then we can, because we have summer. Our Christmas is summer, it's not winter. So we can sit outside in the sun and then mm. I'll be cooking. I'll probably bring it. I'm gonna send you my tracks, the old classics. I don't know if you have them. The smoke gets in your eyes, the lights fall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know all of that. 
that's me. That's like me. I love the old music. I really do. Mm. Unforgettable. Sorry. The song is really um, unforgettable. So you start to sing, I'll sing with you. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. What you are. That's what you are. And forevermore. And forevermore. That's how you stay. That's how you stay. That's my darling. It's incredible. That someone so unforgettable thinks that I am unforgettable too. <laughs> and Julian, thank you. It's a nice song by Nat King Cole, sang by the lovely Levo from South Africa, who's calling us on the show. And um, yeah, and that's a wrap, everyone. Subscribe to the show so that you can get a notification when I enter live. My words cannot begin to tell you how much I appreciate it. And your call was amazing. Oh, wow. uh, really wonderful. And um, I, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. And even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I want to wish you all love. A lot of love to all of you. I hope you come back. You all come back. And you I too, Levo. Please. <laughs> I'll come I'll back. Out. Happy. <laughs> This was a Christmas show special with all the classics. Bye bye, you guys. Kiss, kiss, Levo to South Africa and Iran, Buenos Aires, Argentina, Canada, France, UK, United States of America, all the countries in the world. Bye bye.